are you guys doing, doing today? <laughs> We're in our nice clean garage now that the snake room is all set up. It's all clean back. Look at how nice and clean this is. Is this rug garage going to stay clean like this, guys? Yes. It is? Wow. That's amazing. I'm going to go out to Royal Grande today. And today I'm going to finish doing my BB gun. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the Turtle and Tortoise Rescue in Arroyo Grande and we're going to check out a lot of cool turtles. They're doing a big cleanup out there today. So I said I would go out and check it out and maybe even help. Um, and Eli, what do you know? I know. Mommy. What about Mommy? But that he she feeds baby. She feeds baby? Yeah. What else does mommy do? Pump her milk. She pumps her milk? Yeah. What else? Noah's gun. No, what, what does mommy do? I don't know. <laughs> Daddy, Are you Daddy a good boy? Yeah. All set up. Nice. Hey, Noah. What? what? You know. I know. My daddy. What about your daddy? That I love him and that's all I know. <laughs> hey, well, if that's all he knows, then I think that's okay with me. You want to do one more time? Yeah. What's up? Something. What do you know? I know. Spiders. What about spiders? That the bike that just pins, pins. <laughs> really? What um, else? It had spider whips. They this spider whips. <laughs> You silly guy. It got tiger whips, like the other spider whips on the jeep there. <laughs> yep, yes, right. All right, guys, let's go to the turtle place. We are here at the tortoise rescue facility. This place is actually called Triple T for Thomas, Turtle, and Tortoise. Cool name. So last time we were here, Steve cut down this tree. Seems like there's not nearly as much work that needs to be done this time. So I'm probably just gonna be running around filming stuff because I'm just big dumb labor. Some of the Cal Poly University students are down here helping out and then they've got a strong, good solid crew of people working right now. Dr. Emily Taylor. Dr. Emily Taylor, she's gonna help us out with this snake today. And, and Haley Crowell. So, we're gonna come up, see if we can get a close look, follow me, on this wild Mallory. If you look behind the bushes, as she builds her nest, notice how she forages through the plants. Very, danger, danger. It's okay though, it's tired, it might not be very aggressive. Watch it slumber. Good, good stuff, she's gorgeous, gorgeous. If you've watched the vlog channel for a long time, you will recognize those names and those folks. Hopefully we see them again soon. Maybe go out and do some rattlesnake wrangling with them. If I can just stop being a procrastinator and actually go do it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not procrastinating. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. Busy holding cameras and oh, falling into uh, foot traps. So I just think it's awesome that Bob has this place going that he's had it going for this long. Last time I was here, we didn't get a chance to go talk to him. So. I think this time we'll go pop in on Bob and, and see what he has to say about this place. Last time I was here, you had, this place had, this had all, you had the hog nose here, yeah. and you had the, oh, the Mata Mata still over there. Yeah. And then you had a bunch of baby turtles over here yeah. too, Yeah. Right? Yeah, I've got a few uh, eggs and incubator, but uh, I don't have any babies right now, so. Gotcha. Okay. All right guys, we're here with Bob, who obviously runs, has run this facility for about 30 years now. Um, so, Tell us a little bit about it. I mean, how did you get started with this place? Oh, I started uh, about 30 years ago when uh, one of the rangers at the uh, Natural History Museum uh, decided that uh, 
I should do a talk on turtles because I had three different kinds of turtles and tortoises. And uh, so I started doing a talk at the, uh, at the uh, library and at the uh, Natural History Museum. And I would fill the auditorium every time and people started bringing me animals. Three years I had 85 animals, about uh, 10 different kinds. And so I decided I better start a rescue. So I went down south and studied under a couple of rescues there. And then I uh, came back and started looking for some land. I found the five acres and built the house and started building pens. And one time I got up to about 350 turtles and tortoises and about uh, 40 species. And uh, I've cut back now to about uh, 200 animals and uh, about uh, 30 species. Well, it's it's easily one of the most beautiful, I mean, just properties I've seen in a while. So it's you do, you've done a really good job here, Bob. I'm I'm always impressed every time I come up here and check this Thank stuff you. out. So. Thank you. And it's a labor of love. Yeah. But I'm getting a little too old for that. <laughs> yes, Bob, Bob's actually looking to sell this place and, and turn the, turn the uh, rescue over to somebody who's qualified and has the passion to do it. So if you guys are, any of you guys are interested, uh, Bob's contact information is going to be in the description of the video. So if you, again, if you're qualified and you have the drive, then he is looking for somebody. And um, there's he's also got a, a bunch of these trinkets back here that I'm going to show you on the video in a second that, that he's looking to move. They, uh, they're starting to take up valuable shelf space, so if you, you can contact shelf space. <laughs> so I'll let so you get a hold of Bob, and you can any any questions you have. I mean, he's a great man, obviously. Um, to run something like this, it takes it takes serious dedication to have something like this happen. And, and I'm make afraid it so. <laughs>
I think it may have caused the turf war. <laughs> you guys are friends, come on. Let's all just get along. So these are definitely some of the coolest animals that Bob has here at the facility. A couple of Galapagos tortoises. You don't get to see these every day, man. And uh, Bob's got a huge, a huge enclosure for these guys. And I mean, they've just got, how big is this space? It's, it's big, it's big. He's, he's done a really good job here. These, these guys get to roam around pretty far. Look at how much space these guys have to roam in. This, this enclosure goes on forever. It's like the antithesis of ball python care. Why don't we just wander through and hop over fences and check out some of these tortoises? So he's got all these cactuses inside of these enclosures so that he can just walk by and break them off a treat every now and then. And then of course the grass is growing throughout the enclosure that the tor tortoises can munch on all day. And let's see if we can pop in on one of our friends here. What's your name? I'm Brian. Good to meet you. You're not going to bite my nose, are you? Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about it? Am I just in your way? I'll get out of your way. So that was a South American yellow-footed tortoise. These next guys over here are South American red-footed tortoises. Easily my favorite tortoise here is the Indian star tortoise. Check this dude out. That was definitely a good time. I always enjoy coming out here, man. I'm, I'm stoked that the, uh, the Cal Poly kids came through and, and helped out with that because it's a lot, a lot easier to film when I don't have to work at the same time. So those guys did a great job. Well, it's time for me to go home and see what the fam is up to. I hope you all are having a great day. I hope you have a great weekend and uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you on Monday.